public health is all about supporting the population. So that's really about understanding why populations become ill and why, why there are differences between different communities. And it's about understanding more about that. So using the data and the intelligence to really give us a strong picture of what the health is like in any population. Uh, and public health is also about using the evidence base and looking to see what works best for different communities, contributing to research. So we know that the actions that we're recommending are the best available actions based on the best available evidence that we have. The Public Health Service itself is made up of a team of uh, individuals with many different skills, many different job sets, and they range from being project support through public health practitioners to public health consultants and of course to myself. And we really value that spread of skill sets and people come from all sorts of backgrounds into public health. So we commission a range of services, public health services, things like uh, a healthy child programme that consists of health visitors and children. So we need to know what's best for that population so we can help design those services. But we also do other services such as sexual health, such as smoking cessation and also substance misuse. Other things that we do is develop evidence and data that is available and supportive of a lot of our partners in the health and care system. So we provide a lot of data to support NHS services. We help them with their design of those services and look at the evaluation as well. We are also very keen on looking at the wider determinants. So that is looking at the causes, why people become ill in the first place and, and what can we do about that. So we have a different range of approaches which look at what is the available evidence around prevention, what can we look about best value services, how can we protect people's health and, and this, is, this is things like infectious disease as we've seen fairly recently with the Covid but also things like screening and immunisations. Something that we have as a statutory responsibility and it is owned by the also statutory Health and Wellbeing Board for West Sussex County Council. What it is, is a collection of data and intelligence, the best and most up to date that we can find around a whole range of different health topics. And it, it isn't prescribed in a way we can see what we need to do with our population. But the purpose of it is to understand the level of health and wellbeing or illness and disease in our population to the best of our ability. The reason for having a JSNA is to support ourselves and the council, but also our health and care partners, to be able to commission the best value and best services that meet the needs of our population. And it's not the same as everywhere. It's not necessarily the same as other parts of Sussex or even other parts of England. Public health is a wonderful profession. It's varied, it's interesting. There are so many different choices and options to come into public health. And we have a fantastic team at West Sussex County Council. It's quite a large team and we have very many different skill sets. We work wonderfully together. We work uh, in, in what I call a matrix way. So we are often supportive of the different parts of our work. And I think above all, we are very committed to developing people's careers who come into the team uh, and making sure that they're getting the very best experience that they possibly can and that they enjoy their job.